wearing a shirt like that. There's nothing about this shirt that's false. Good day and welcome to an episode of Project Wrong Way. You might have noticed that I said good day at the beginning of this episode. That's because I'm going to appropriate Australian culture and use it as my own. My wife would prefer that as well. Mm, Scottish, really. Given the amount of Chris Hemsworth YouTube videos that she's watched. <laughs> couldn't help but notice my female viewership is only 1.9%. Um, I'm looking for tips or any advice so I could we could bump those numbers up. I've tried nipples. I, apparently that doesn't work. Today we're going to do more wire wheel work. You know they're all, the 1.9% are all either relatives or they go to church with you. Why don't you just ask them in person? I don't want to do that. I hate your shirt. It's all true though. Everything about my shirt's true. It implies... It's, it's given to me by a friend, a close friend. Wait, which one? I don't know. He sounds like one of those aliens from Mars Attacks. Cack, cack, cack. Let's get some wire wheel work done and we're going to use some special chemicals today. Perhaps. Let's have a look at the wire wheel situation. I picked up, what, I picked up. Your leg looks stupid. <laughs> why is it hiked up like that? And the Australian viewers won't respect me if you don't respect me. <laughs> well, why'd you hike that front one up? Because I'm in a crouching position. This type of wire wheel works better. The, I'm gonna say braided version. Um, a little bit more aggressive and it likes it when you twist it like that. It's, it doesn't throw as many wires. No wires in the jugular this time? Or in the yeah. wife? Fortunately, my obese neck protected me <laughs> the last time. So I should be okay this time too. <laughs> Just realized I spun that bad boy up without goggles. It's got some power. Did you feel that? This little guy's gonna break a lot of hearts. <laughs> I mean, break a lot of parts. Oh yeah, that's incredibly powerful. That'll come in handy. So, oh, the chemicals. Are you in on the bottle or in on my face? Your face and the bottle. And the butt stuff. Rust mort, rust conversion compound. Removes and converts prior to applying body filler, primer, or top coat. Causes severe skin burns and eye damage. So Right up your alley. We got that going for us. So I'm going to put some of that on there once you get done with the wire wheel. It's going to transform the rust into like crystals or something. Or two. And then do they just wash off or something? I don't know. I don't know. what. Did you, did you read the directions? I read up until the warning or after the warning. I read the... Did, um, did my grandfather-in-law, call him Jerry's... I call him Jer Bear. Um, he's the one that told me about this. So shout out to you, Jerry Bear. Jerry's actually a competent mechanic and auto restoration enthusiast. And he watches my show in terror as I uh, do nothing correctly. So, <laughs> so let, let's get at it. <laughs> Another tool I obtained from Harbor Freight. It's called a mini needle scaler or what I've affectionately named the tiny jackhammer, which I've also given to a certain body part. My eyes. My eyes are like tiny <laughs> jackhammers. We're gonna be using the needle scaler as well. As well. See, I'm already picking up some Australian. Good day. As well. Another gift I received from my adoring fans is this bad boy. <laughs> it's a creeper made by Craftsman Tools. It was sent to me by my grandmother-in-law, Sherry. Sherry? Surely. <laughs> that should make Will feel better. Do you remember the first video I shot? And you're like, you should talk less. You tried to tell me the how. The first video you shot was in the bedroom. Nobody could see your eye rolls but me. You're the only one intended. Has anybody seen Saving Private Ryan? There's a scene where the, like, the sergeant He's always got a cigar, and every time something works out, he's always like, we're in business! This works pretty good, so we're in business! I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to stuff it in this hole right here. 
so I can. I don't think it's gonna fit. No, it's not. This one will. There we go. Okay. Maybe Make some bad choices. Yeah. yeah, when that throws, it really throws it. I can't seem. I can't seem to see the tip. It's just your hands. What are you doing? Just show off my stubby holder. Compliments of Will Rogerson. <laughs> He's now affectionately known as Will on the internet now. What's his real name? I don't know. <laughs> Go Bruins. Ow! Shit. Shoot! What happened? What happened to you? You threw something. It went through the wheel whirl and hit me in the stomach. The wheel whirl? What it, wheel, whatever that's called. Wheel well? Wheel well. <laughs> Wheel Wheel well. Wheaton. <laughs> What's wrong? Did it hit you in the face? Got me in the mouth. You haven't complained before. How? I'm sorry, honey. Should probably unplug this before I tighten these up. I don't know. Might be fun watching you get zapped. No, it's not like a cushion I'm worried about, honey. Is it turning on and it's flying off of your face? It's this completely unsafe lever and... Now's probably a good time to mention that I want to put, uh... Shut up. What's it called? No. Uh-uh. Nope. Don't fuel. even say it. Nope. Nope. Fuel nope. injection. No, I I've didn't. I've been doing a lot of research. You look ridiculous. Oh, no, it works, honey. Hey, where are you planning on working next? You keep doing that. I get, finally get in position. A bit of scatterbrained here. You have a real hard time just finishing an area. Dude, that's hitting me right in the freaking dome. Let me pull out all these little tiny steel pubic hairs that I've got now. Fun. It's kind of gross. Wait, did you just seriously throw that out on the ground where our children run barefoot? Maybe our children could put shoes on. Maybe you could look out for them. This one was in my foot. Don't throw them on the ground. Where am I supposed to throw them? The, the air? The trash. Oh. oh, yeah, okay. Why do you need to take the shocks off? <laughs> Why? Because I want to. I want to clean up the shock towers. You know, the more we work on this, the more I think you're a complete idiot when it comes to like the order of things. Like, why did we spend three episodes screwing with those? The lift. Oh. Like that seemed. Because I thought it was a good idea at the time. Or. It seems a bit backwards. It is. A lot of what I've been doing is backwards. I'm realizing that. And hopefully people are learning as well. Maybe don't jump into the lift right off the bat there, fellas. <laughs> Sheila's. The 1.9%. Yeah, I'm reaching out. It's hard. That's what she said. Go ahead and get these guys off here. I only cut, I only temporarily installed them. But what was the what do you mean, what's the point? Why did you even install them in the first place? Because it looks good. But I need to clean up the dumb shock tower and put magic juice on it that converts the rust into some other substance. Are you doing? You know, in a, in a way, kind of like a Maori as well. Oh, oh gosh, no. That's stretching it, hun. No, it's not. Yep. If this has anything to do I with think, skin color, yeah, just I think, get out of here right now. No. Australia is believable. <laughs> Australia is believable? <laughs> I mean, Maybe I, being a Maori isn't? No, it's not. They're a warrior people, honey. I'm a lot like that. Um, this is a bloody ripper. <laughs> what does that even mean? It means it's really hot. Do you know what the Australian word is for Sasquatch? Um, no. Yowie. Isn't the word, the Hebrew word for God, like Yahweh? Yes. That seems pretty close to... Apparently, Australians worship the Sasquatch as some type of deity. It's an interesting... I can get behind that. What's our couple name? Retard. <laughs> no. Your first name's Rachel. And my last name is Tard. Dude, I'm not going to be able to apply to the rest... Ever. The rest killer stuff yet.
Because I nothing I've done yet is completely clean. It's That's all. because you don't stay in one spot for more than two seconds. You keep bouncing I other around. Men have a hard time with their wife and their feedback that they get from their wife. Do other men make their wife film them work on their vehicle? No. Let's use the tiny jackhammer. I'm referring to the tool, not my body part. It's pretty loud, so you're going to want to use ear protection. But you're not, right? No, I've developed the ability to close my ears. <laughs> what, like a seal or something? Don't they, I don't Can know. Seals close their ears? I don't know. <laughs> It's not really good for tight spaces, apparently. Yeah, but that could be starting to see the air in that. That, that could mean hose it off. So that I'm there. sorry, honey. You probably didn't pick up on that. No, I picked up. I just don't care. I was done listening, so I turned the tiny jack. Because I had on. a good idea. This this is a perfect metaphor for the male part. I was tired of listening, so I turned on the tiny jackhammer. Oh, it doesn't hurt. You seem to be getting distracted. Why don't you just apply that rest mort thing, and do multiple quotes of it? Quotes. Coats. Are you a French Canadian now? <sighs> Once again, I finally get in position and you stop. <sighs> Heard that before, huh? Oh, gosh, dude, I see this. There's so much, Rachel. There's so much I need to do. I gotta clean up the whole frame. Right, and I've told you, you should spend, we filmed some of it, and then you should do a couple days of just doing it without being filmed, and then film the next step. Your logic is sound. I can't believe it came from your mouth, honestly. What originally turned you on to Australia? It must have been Crocodile Dundee, huh? Mm, well, yeah, obviously Crocodile Dundee 1 and 2. And then, of course, the Crocodile Hunter. I watch that show religiously, you know. <laughs> R.I.P. Steve Irwin. <laughs> a stingray. A stingray killed him. Our youngest daughter, who already doesn't listen good, is going to eat these paint chips and become just like her dad. No, it's like an air sprayer to clean off stuff. Watch out. Good How giant. sweet this works. Okay, ready? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, Project Wrong Way Nation, I'm still hard at it. Um, I'm still going to have to work on cleaning the frame more before I can apply the rust mort. I still think you should try it. All right, we'll try a little section to help. Go hey, ahead. Yeah, I know. Just... <laughs> Don't yell at me. You're embarrassing <gasps> me in front of my 1,059 fans. So apparently, the rust mort goes a little bit, goes a long way. And per my grandfather-in-law, Jer Bear, he said, you don't want to breathe that. It's some pretty gnarly chemicals. Oops, see daisies. Oh, what the hell, dude? There's nothing we can do about the light. Turn your... What? Turn the sun? Just dab a little bit of this. Okay, and then... Just gonna paint the rest. No, no, stop putting your hand in the way. Yeah, that's good. Oh crap. You don't wanna get this on your hand. That's why I'm wearing gloves next time. This does go a long ways. It smells like cancer. Let's put some up here. You know who I feel like? A guy on a painting show? The painter. What's his name? I can't think of his name right now. Ellis or? Ellis? Steve Ross. Yeah, Bob Ross. Bob Ross. Okay. Steve Ross. Just a friendly little rust cloud here. Yeah, that's nice. Maybe a couple, a couple rust birds. I don't know. Whatever you want. It's whatever you want. Okay. Happy little clouds? Yeah, happy little rust. The rust mort is supposed to sit for about 24 hours before you can apply paint. Um, Sorry, I'm reading the text coming on your phone. Oh, great. <laughs> your face. You nervous? No, I'm not nervous. You, nervous? you can read all the text you want on my phone. Please like, share, and subscribe. We need more. We need more subscribers. No, I gotta redo that. That sounds. It sounds like I'm begging. You are though. Uh -huh.